the diligent staff of the child care. Sister Elham and her staff did a phenomenal job. Let us give them a very loud round of applause. I'd like to give the mic to Sister Elham. She has a few words to say. Let us welcome her with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters. This is Elham Shahidari, director of Sabah Academy Preschool. This year we are honored to be invited to Muslim Group USA conference. And then I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the organizers of this conference, also thank all the Sabah Academy, Pre-K Department staff. Let us say the loud salawat for all of them. In past three days, we tried to provide a very learning Islamic educational program for our little young children. Inshallah, 10 years, 15, 15 years, up to 20 years later, they're going to be the one, they're going to lead the conference, inshallah. So I would try to just give you a very short, like, description of a couple of our activities we've done so far for these young children. First of all, we try to plant the seed of love of Ahl Bayt and then love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in their very innocent heart. So we done. We taught them the, how we can respect and how we can always call on them in any time we wish. And one of the activity was with felt board. I asked them to close your eyes and I taught them. So it's not whenever you wish to be and make that connection. It's not you need to be physically there. You can also spiritually, you can send your heart over there and then make that connection. I asked them to close their eyes and then I said, we're gonna send our heart to Medina. And when they open up by number 10, they saw this picture. And we taught them how to respect the Ahl al-Bayt and how to say, Salam, Salamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah to the Rasul Akram Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and at the same time also other shrine which I, I brought you a sample of shrine of Aga Ali ibn Musa Reza. I try. Salawat. So it was really impressing. Today one of them she was asking me Sister Alham let's go to Medina again. It was really impressive. So, and then also we taught them the hadith of, from Prophet Muhammad about sadaqah and concept of sadaqah, why we have to pay sadaqah, why we have to save sadaqah and spend some of our money for poor people and then putting away that money for poor people. We made the sadaqah jar, it's in the corner, and we asked them, you can collect your money until the next Eid, and then you're gonna give that money to your parents and ask them to spend for the poor people, for children. So also we've done, we taught them the story of Quran, one of the story of Quran, Ashabul Fil, and then I believe the hand the most important, and then also a productive way we can teach our children is hands-on project. So with the hands-on project, they learn about the Ashabul Fil story, which we display in this corner later on, you can come and then visit their project. Also, they've done family tree, and then on the canvas also, uh, they learn about the shrine of Rasulullah, and they made this canvas all by themselves. And then also, we read a couple of educational Islamic books. So, in general, it was very successful. We've seen how much these children, they love, really, they really love to be. And then, the time of babysitter is over. Really, it's over. And then we need to always plan and then come up with plan for these young children. And inshallah, for future, we're going to come up with better and better and education and more education on Islamic program for our young children. And I really would like to thank Brother Mustafa and his team to invite our school to be part of this team. Let us say the loud salam for all of them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.